Okay, fifth graders, happy Friday. Um, we are doing chapter six, section four. So if you haven't opened your books to that page, go ahead and do so. Uh, actually, I'm not sure what page it is. Let's see here. I'm not sure if I copied enough to grab the page number. Um, so it looks like we're going to start on page 242. So uh, they give us an example here. Um, you're now multi not multiplying. You're now dividing with two-digit numbers. And they show us a couple things here in this example. Um, it says Aaron's garden has an area of 84.8 um, square feet. So the area, you know, is what's inside of a garden. Okay, that's the area. And it says she knows the length is 16 feet. So here's the length right here. And the question is, what's the width? And so they show you how they solve that. Well, it's going to be 16 into um, 84.8. All right, that's how you would solve it. And so what do they get? They get 5.3. And they model it uh, for us right there also, which is kind of convenient. Um, so the convince me down at the bottom of the page, it says reasoning. How could Amy use estimation to make sure that the decimal point is in the correct place? Well, um, if we're going to estimate, uh, we're going to use some compatible numbers and make it a little bit easier. So instead of dividing by, oh, let's say 16, what if we divided by 15? And instead of 84, um, we could call it 80 or even 90, because 15 would go into 90 evenly. And how do I know that? Well, what's 15 twice? 15 twice, if I added 15 twice, it's going to be 30. Well, I know that uh, 3 goes into 9 evenly, so uh, 30 would go into 90 evenly also. It would go the same amount of times, 3 times. So 15 would go into 90, um, 2, 4, 6, 6 times, because um, 15 goes into 30 twice. And 30 goes into 90 3 times, 2 times three is six and so i just kind of did that in my head um so so it's going to be close to six and so what's where is the decimal and the answer they have there it's 5.3 which is you know kind of close to six so how could you use estimation well um let's see here uh if you estimate you get six, which is close to 5.3. So I would say the decimal is in the right place. Um, guided practice, next page, you guys. Let's take a look here. It says, where is 5.3 shown in the diagram? I'm looking at number, number one here. Where is 5.3 shown in the diagram? Okay, let's go back and look at, I, I think they're talking about in the diagram. Um, in the diagram. Well, maybe this is what they're talking about here. Uh, well, 5.3 is the quotient. Um, yeah, I'm kind of unclear. 5.3, 5.3 is the quotient. Okay. And if the book says something different, then Mr. Glazer made a mistake, but that's okay. Number two, how can you check that the quotient 5.3 is reasonable? Well, we did that up above. Why are they asking us that again? That's silly. Cross out number two. I know you guys will like that. Let's look at three and four here. It says complete the division problem. What do we have here? I'm looking at number three. It's 49 into 49 dividing into 306.25. Um, remember you guys that when we divide into a number, the decimal goes straight up. Okay, so don't forget that. The decimal is going to go straight up. And so I'm just going to put it, um, I'll just go ahead and put it right there just so we don't forget. Now, I'm not going to do the whole problem, but I'll just get you kind of started here. 49, what's 49 close to? 49 is pretty close to 50. 306, what's that pretty close to? That's close to 300, okay? 
How many times does 50 go into 300? Well, 50 goes into 100 twice, and 200 four times, and 300 six times. So um, I think it'd be a pretty safe bet to say 49 goes into 306 six times. All right. So then you're going to multiply 6 times 49 and figure out what that is. And um, then you're going to fill in those numbers right there for whatever that is. And the 6 obviously would go um, right above. And they gave us the next decimal. It's going to be a 2, which is kind of convenient. So go ahead and fill out number 3. Finish that. I'm not worried about number 4. I'm going to cross that one out for you guys. Um, but I expect you to do number three, and I'll be asking, maybe I should just randomly, where's my six? I don't know who's going to watch this video. So come Monday, um, let me see here. Who did I pull? Miss Maldonado. Miss Maldonado, this is worth um, 200 points. If you know the answer to number three there. In other words, you have to fill in all those boxes for me. All right. Um, let me see here. I'm looking at five and six. Let's do the same thing. I'm going to cross out six. Okay. And I want you to fill out, <clears throat> you guys fill out five. And don't forget this part. Now, what's on top of this model? That's going to be the quotient. Those are, those are going to be the same thing. So do number five. Let's see here. And if they don't do it, then I'll just call on somebody else. Who did I call? Mr. Hollenbach. Mr. Hollenbach, number five is worth 200 points. Okay. Nobody has to do um, number six, like I said. Now let's look at seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm having some fun here. Uh, number ten, Mr. Fall. Mr. Fall, number 10 is worth a stick. Uh, and I should probably put your names here. Um, and then um, Mr. Fall. And then uh, uh, it was, who was it? Miss Maldonado. Okay, and let's see here. Yep, that was number 10. Okay, so let's look at 11. Sharon pays 98.75 for 25 14 ounce boxes of Yummy Flakes cereal. What a name. How much does one box of cereal cost? What are you going to be doing? You're going to be dividing uh, 98.75. It's going to be divided by number or by 14. All right. And who's going to do that one for me? Mist Noble. Miss Noble, this is worth um, uh, 200 points. Okay. Uh, number 12. Now, just because I'm already pulling the sticks doesn't mean I'm going, not going to pull sticks for other problems. For students. So, anyways, uh, if they're if these individuals are in your group, you might want to let them know if you watch this video to make sure they get them right. Number twelve, Javier bought a new TV for four hundred and seventy nine dollars and seventy six cents. He will make equal payments each month for two years. How can Javier use compatible numbers to estimate? Now we're estimating, okay, the payment. Well, first off, how many months are in a year? There's twelve months. Um, in one year. There's two years, so it's going to be 24 months. Okay. I forgot my H in there. There we go. 24 months. So you're going to divide this number by 24. Well, um, 479, you could make it an even 500. And then instead of 24 months, what could we call it? How about 25 months? And then I think that would give you a good estimation. 
Um, I'll pull the stick for number 13. Don't know who, but it'll be worth... Uh, how about another stick? And you guys can do 14. Well, let's see here. Mr. Wang's shopping for a new refrigerator. Brand A costs. Okay, I'm going to use my highlighter here. Um, so brand A costs. Um, $569 and uses 635 kilowatt hours per year. Okay. We can do that. Brand B costs $647 and uses 582 kilowatt hours per year. If electricity costs 18 cents per kilowatt hour, how much would she save on electricity per year by buying brand B, which is um, the cheaper brand? Okay. So you're going to have to figure out the difference. It's going to be a subtraction problem. Well, first off, you got to figure out brand A costs 635 kilowatt hours per year. So for A, I'm going to write this down here. A equals 635 times uh, 0.18, and that equals something. B equals 582, 582 kilowatt hours times 0.18, and that equals something. You're going to compare those two. There it is. I set it up for you. How nice is that? Number 15, Pat's driving from Seattle to LA. The distance is 1,135 miles. For the first 250 miles, it costs Pat 29 cents a mile to drive. After that, the cost is 16 cents a mile. I wonder what happened. Anyways, um, what is, is Pat's total driving cost? Well, so, so first off, it's going to be 250 times uh, 0.29 and that's going to equal part of the cost I don't know what that is going to be I'll just you know what I'll do I'm just going to call whatever that part of the cost I'm going to call it um, Z we don't know what Z is yet and then for the rest of it it's 29 miles so so now we've got to so there's another step so 1,135 subtract 250, okay? Because the first 250 miles cost 29 cents a mile. Then there's some mileage left over, okay? So whatever that mileage is, that's going to be times, uh, what? 0.16, and that's going to equal... Um, we'll call it Y. All right. And then, and then what are you going to do? You're going to add, it says, what's the total driving cost? It's going to be Z plus Y equals the total. Okay. Set that one up for you. How nice is that? Um, so, uh, this is worth a stick. And, and a group uh, starburst. And I'm gonna, who's that gonna be? Miss Adams. Miss Adams, you're up. Okay. All right, you guys can do 16 and 17, that's it, I'm done. I'm gonna upload this, you guys can watch this Friday. And um, I will see you Monday, and we will see what kind of answers you guys get um, on Monday for this. Okay, talk to you guys later.
and I'm going to end this video.